Hey you guys, what's up? It's Vicky J and I am here to do the 30 makeup questions tag. I was tagged or nominated rather by Mo Makeup, Mo Beauty, and I just want to say thanks girl. I see you. This is kind of going to be a long video. I'm not really sure because you know, when you get to talking about makeup, but uh, let's jump right into it with the first question, which is, do you remember your first makeup item? For me, my family is full of women, so we've had makeup around for a really long time. And my aunts, some of my aunts sold Mary Kay. So I'd had a chance to like play with makeup, but I would say like my first makeup purchase was actually with Avon and it was the mousse foundation. I think it was like mousse to powder foundation and I was like the darkest shade that they had available or you know, I made it work. And um, I was in maybe the eighth grade or freshman in high school when I tried to like do the whole foundation thing and it was all right, you know, like whatever. <laughs> Cause I was still learning so it wasn't as good as what I can do now, but it was still pretty good. And um, I was really fascinated by makeup at that point. I hadn't immersed myself in it, but I really enjoyed Avon products. And I later ended up selling it for a little while and whatever, but yeah. So that was my first thing, mousse to powder foundation. Describe your perfect mascara and have you found one that fits your specifications? Um, my perfect mascara would separate, lengthen, curl and fan your lashes out at the same time it's just gonna it's just gonna be like wow girl woo look at these lashes that's just what i want um from my ideal mascara have i found one no i haven't I, to my knowledge there are some drugstore ones that do that i think but i haven't tried any drugstore mascaras to be totally honest and it's not i mean i'm not being bougie i just i just haven't um, I haven't bothered to do it, you know, because I'm constantly getting mascara samples, so I just haven't. But um, yeah, I like Tarte's Lights Cam Camera Lashes, and I like Giorgio Armani's Black Ecstasy. I used Black Ecstasy today on my upper lashes, and I think it looks amazing. It like actually curled them too. Look at that, how pretty. And then I used Lights Camera Lashes on my lower lashes. And I normally use Extended Plate Giga Black on my lower lashes. And I think that this one may actually give me a little bit more length and um, definition. So I'm gonna keep trying and see. I, I haven't found the perfect mascara, but hopefully one day very soon. What kind of coverage do you prefer from foundation? Um, if you guys have seen my skincare videos, you know that I have been uh, battling hyperpigmentation and acne scarring and ingrown hairs and like all that stuff. So I like medium to full coverage. That's just the kind of girl I am. Favorite high-end brand? Hmm. I guess I would have to say, I guess it would be weird to say NARS because I haven't found a foundation that really works for me. Not in terms of color, but in terms of um, staying power because very oily. brand goodness I don't know okay I'm gonna pick two favorite high-end brand is NARS for like everything but foundation <laughs> and then for foundation I'm gonna say currently Marc Jacobs I'm just gonna go ahead and give it to Marc Jacobs because <laughs> mother friggin remarkable mm. what cosmetic brands have you always wanted to try but still haven't I haven't officially tried Giorgio Armani. I'm actually, I've only actually used samples and the samples are bomb.com. So I really want to try the entire line, but you can only um, sample the line at the uh, Sephora in the Prudential Center in Boston. That's like the nearest one that carries Giorgio Armani in the store. So I have to like make a dedicated trip to Boston and pay for the parking and like all this stuff. So I just haven't done it yet, but I really, really want to. And then I want to try Surat Beauty, which I think is only available online. So I'm just working up the nerve to get myself a palette and then maybe some gloss or something. I don't know because it's in prices, girl, in prices. Woo. Um, 
What else? I think, oh, I wanna try Visor. I like Surratt because they have the whole like make your own palette thing, which I think is pretty dope. But Surratt has those really amazing looking, um, highly recommended eyeshadow palettes that I really wanna try. Favorite drugstore brand. I'm gonna just give it to Milani because I'm that's literally all I ever buy from the drugstore. Do you wear fake eyelashes? I occasionally do, but most days since I haven't become, um, you know, I haven't, I haven't really built up my proficiency in applying lashes just yet. It takes me a while, so I'm, I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna get to the point where it's like an everyday thing. <laughs> so, so eventually, yes, but for now, I just occasionally wear them. Is there any kind of makeup you can't leave the house without? Lip stuff. I usually carry some balm and a lip color, either a lipstick or um, like a really pigmented gloss. Right now, today, I'm wearing Aisha from Kat Von D, and I have um, my Tony Molly lip balm on top of it. I really like this color, y'all. This is not an everyday color, but I might, I might just do it. Like, why not? What is your most cherished beauty product? That would be my current set of Christian Louboutin nail polishes. I definitely plan to build the collection because I love. <laughs> Christian Louboutin nail polishes like they're true to color in one coat they dry in like less than two minutes you don't need a top coat but I put one on anyway and um the base coat is pretty kicking like I have the base and top coat set even though the top coat dried up on me I don't know what's up with that I'm about to go return this shit and get myself another set but the base coat is banging it's nice and like it has a really nice consistency it's almost like opaque and um snatches them colors up like it's so great it really kind of like clings to the color and shows it it's 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 christian louboutin yeah how often do you shop for makeup do you like to pick up an item here and there or get lots of goodies at once so i'm going to answer the first part of the question how often do i shop for makeup at least a couple times a month I actually have a couple orders in the mail. Do you like to pick up an item here and there or have lots of goodies at once? It really depends on the releases, to be honest with you. I have kind of like these checkpoints where I buy lots of things at once. And it's usually um, either the turn of the season, um, a Sephora event, like in line with a Sephora event, or my birthday. Those are the times where I like go ham, you know? <laughs> but um, any other time, it's pretty much just things here and there as they're released. For example, um, an example of me like doing it up real big is my last Ulta haul where I spent um, a lot on <laughs> celebrating the um, two year anniversary of my weight loss surgery and me reaching the milestone of being, of no longer being 300 whatever. <laughs> I was like 200 whatever. And so, I decided to really treat myself for that reason. But that's not, you know, that's not something that happens all the time. And for my birthday last year was another time that I like had a big haul and that was for Sephora, but they also had 20% off your entire purchase. So that's kind of the, kind of like an always kind of thing. Like every time my birthday rolls around, it's right in between that sale. So I usually do it up because I also get a discount. Um, for the Epic Rewards kind of deal, the, um, Beauty Insider Appreciation Week. That's another time where I where I tend to rack up because it's four times the points for VIB Rouge. So I mean, how can you not? It's four times the points, girl. Get 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 as much as you can. But any other time, definitely just like a release if I'm interested in it, or if I need to replace a product. Do you have a beauty budget, or do you spend freely? I'm trying to get into a budget, y'all, because I you know it's time to be a grown-up i'm about to graduate college and but i'm not the age i'm not the age that most people graduate college i'm actually 30. <laughs> so it's like definitely time to be a grown-up girl it's time to take life seriously and so i have to start actually saving money so yes i have set a budget for myself and it is a very rigid one and it's one i'm probably not gonna stick to but i'm trying we'll see I did get a lot of makeup in my last haul, so I don't need anything really. 
it's, it would just legit be some wants. So I'm really gonna sincerely try all the way up until the holidays to be good. Do you utilize coupons, reward cards, and sales when you shop for cosmetics? Absolutely, I mean, why the hell not? Why would you turn down cash back or multiple points or I don't know, gift with purchase. I, like, why would you do that? I don't, I don't understand why you would do that. So yeah, absolutely. Ebates is my homegirl. What type of product do you buy the most of? Definitely lip products. I like to switch it up. Actually, mm, it's a toss up because I actually like to change my nail polish as much as I change my lip color. I would have to count to actually tell you which is a bigger collection. I don't, I don't know. Do you avoid certain ingredients in cosmetics like parabens or sulfates? Sulfates, yes, I avoid those. Um, parabens, sure. Most of the stuff I buy doesn't have parabens in it anymore, so yeah. Is there a brand you absolutely can't stand? Okay, there are no brands that I hate. I don't know if can't stand is kind of synonymous with that, but there's a brand that I, mm, mm, yeah, there's a brand that where like none of the products work for me and that's Cover FX. I've tried to get things to work and they don't. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just my chemical makeup. I have no idea. <laughs> it just is not for me. Do you have a favorite place to shop for makeup? Primarily Sephora, but I also really like Ulta. I met um, VIB Rouge for Sephora and um, platinum for Ulta so either way I go I really can't lose I get points and gifts and whatever it's cool it's great incentive to shop <laughs> um I'm starting to get a little more into Nordstrom just because Mac is there and uh, I'm starting to get into Mac a little bit more <laughs> I'm gonna have to get myself a Nordstrom card I've been using my mom's um but yeah I need to get my own because <laughs> I can't I can't keep calling her up to give me her card every time I want to go there those are the three places that I shop the most. There's a Saks in Boston. So I wanna try to start going there because they have more of the higher end stuff that I'm really interested in. And um, and I just, yeah. So department stores and you know, the um, mass makeup retailers <laughs> are my favorite places to shop. And of course online for the things that I can't get in either of those places. Do you like trying new skincare products or do you keep a certain routine? Yeah, I like to try different skincare products. I am a little more selective about which products that I'm uh, open to trying. For example, I like to, to try different moisturizers. That's one thing that I don't mind you know, getting into. When it comes to cleansers, I like to try to chill on that like I like to try to keep it consistent because as you ch for my skin as I change up my products especially cleaning products it can irritate my skin it can cause breakouts and purging and all of that so I don't really do it for cleansers but I do it a lot for moisturizers for night creams for eye creams um, I think that's pretty much it serums I'll, I'll mess with a good serum here and there and I've been experimenting with face oils and you might be saying to yourself, but aren't you oily? But it actually like, it freaking works, you guys. Like I've been using, I've been using jojoba oil as a moisturizer, like a, like a, it's, yeah. Favorite bath and body brand, I would say is The Body Shop. Although I'm interested in trying Lush because I just saw that they are opening a Lush at the Providence Mall. And I was like, what? Yes! <laughs> So I will definitely be trying Lush. So I'll get back to you guys because um, currently it's the body shop though. I really love their butters. I actually just went through an entire tub of limited edition body butter and I'm a little sad about it. If you could buy, oh, I'm sorry. If you could only buy from one brand, which brand would you choose? Hmm. That's so unfair. <laughs> Oh my God. Um, I guess if I could only buy from one brand, it would be, and y'all are gonna laugh. I, I Like for anybody who's seen my previous videos, you're gonna be like, girl, <laughs> what are you talking about? But it would be Makeup Forever because they were like my inaugural 
brand when it came to um, really getting into makeup in my, you know, in my 20s. And um, they had like the perfect foundation, I remember. It was the um, face and body foundation. It was a full coverage foundation that matched my skin perfectly at the time. And I loved it. Like I wore it out in like two months, I think. I was, I went through the whole thing. And I started to try their HD line and then like, yeah, they're all right with me. It, it, sometimes they do some things that I don't understand. Um, like that 500 point gift recently. But for the most part, I really love Makeup Forever. Everything that I've tried, I've enjoyed. I think there was only one other instance where I was just like, what is this about? And it was when they had, when they came out with those uh, eyeshadow palettes and one of them was like the bold colors and it was directly across from the one from Urban Decay, the electric palette. But I realized after my rant that the shadows from Makeup Forever are actually eyeshadows and the colors that were in the electric palette were pigments. So that's why they were way more pigmented. So I owe Makeup Forever an apology for that initial rant about the eyeshadows not being up to par compared to the ones from Urban Decay. That is not exactly true. Um, but, you know, the, the colors still wouldn't have worked for me because I was going for a stronger uh, color payoff because of my skin tone. But it wasn't their fault. So, yeah. So they redeemed themselves because I was tripping. And then <laughs> the only thing that I kind of feel like boo about is the 500 point gift. And it's just like, so what, girl, go buy something. Go buy the full size and shut up. That's, that's what the conclusion I came to for myself. So yeah, Makeup Forever is pretty darn cool. I want to go to their Makeup Academy and get certified through them. You know, be great. What brand do you think has the best packaging? Okay, so I have like two sides of my personality that are pretty strong. There's the one side of me that's very minimalistic and sleek and, you know, kind of contemporary. Don't be fooled by this background here. This is, y'all know my previous videos. That's how I really get down. That's my fully decorated room. I just moved here. This will be different, I promise you. I'm, a, I'm into minimal clean lines. <laughs> so I really love Marc Jacobs for packaging. I just find it really sexy and so freaking chic and almost like, almost unisex, even though his products tend to lean, you know, obviously their their makeup and most people who consume makeup are women. But um, yeah, his stuff seems kind of unisex. So like if you're displaying it, it's not going to be like overly girly, you know. But with Dior, Dior feeds the other side of this girl's personality because I am also quite girly. And so... I can't choose between the two of them because I really love what um, the kind of like modern femininity that um, that I, I see in the packaging for Dior. So for me, both Dior and Marc Jacobs take the cake in terms of packaging. Which celebrity always gets gets it right with makeup? I'm not going to say Kim Kardashian. And you know why I'm not going to say Kim Kardashian? Because everybody in their mama says Kim Kardashian. What? whatever i'm gonna say someone else damn it somebody else needs to shine i am going to say i always enjoy carrie washington because she's very radiant and natural looking every time i see her on the red carpet um yeah i think that she has a great you know just fresh everyday woman kind of look and that's the majority of the time what i'm into so i would say yeah and, and listen, Kim be beat to hell and back. Mama is just flawless. Absolutely. I just didn't want to say what everybody else was like, come on. None of, the, none of this would be fun if everybody said her. <laughs> so there it is. Do you belong to any online makeup communities? I'm not sure what, exactly what they mean by this question, but if it's what I think it means, yeah, I, um, I'm in a few different groups on Facebook for makeup, you know, just like makeup lovers. Shout out to black girls who love makeup. Yes. And um, hair and makeup 101. I'm in that group as well. 
and a few others, mostly for beauty gurus to um, network and, and things like that. And then, of course, YouTube and their beauty, uh, beauty realm. I'm a part of that, a little fish in a big pond. And then, let's see what else. I think that's it. Yeah. Oh, well, I don't know. Instagram? I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm on there. I'm out there. <laughs> that's my answer to that. And five favorite beauty gurus. Okay, Jackie Aina is number one for me. Jackie freaking Aina, shout out. Then I would say, I really like Jaclyn Hill. Yeah. I like the way she does her tutorials. I like the way that she kind of really sells you on a product. I think that, you know, she, she does a really good job. I enjoy her. I enjoy Manny because he's funny as hell. <laughs> he just, he's so fun and energetic. I love Makeup Doll because she's my Scorpio sister. <laughs> and that's four, right? Okay. And then Mo Makeup More Beauty because hey girl and your love of high end makeup reminds me so much of myself. So yeah, those are my five. Get into them if you haven't already. Ah, wait, five isn't enough. <laughs> I have more. All right, that's enough. But yes, yes. Do you like multifunctional products like lip and cheek stains? No, they don't work for me. I've, I've tried them I and they don't work for me. I don't, it, it either doesn't work for one thing, you know, like, it's a lip and cheek stain, but it looks terrible on my cheeks or it looks terrible on my lips or something like that. So I just was like, forget it. <laughs> Are you clumsy in putting on makeup? Okay. Not really, but I do always have a problem when I'm tight lining that my eyes begin to water. And that's because I have allergies, so my eyes are really sensitive. I poked myself in the eye a couple of times. Yeah, I mean, it's part of it. And I actually glued my eyes shut one time, putting on <laughs> lashes. <laughs> I thought I was gonna lose all that, all of my eyelash hairs. Like, <laughs> do you use makeup base slash primer for your eyes? Yeah, I do. I didn't use that much today uh, because I was kind of rushing out of the house, do a thirty-minute base. But generally, yes, I use both a primer and a base, depending on what I'm going to be doing to my eyes. How many hair products do you use on a typical day? Now, it depends on the day, because as you can see, I'm natural. That's all me. And during wash day, I have a lot more products than, you know, maintenance throughout the week. So for like wash day, I'm going to maybe use, hmm, maybe six to seven items and then for like dur during the week my maintenance my moisturizing my co-washing things like that it's like three to four so. what do you apply first concealer or foundation i apply foundation first just works for me do you ever consider taking makeup classes yes i want to go to makeup forever academy in new york and um hopefully i'll be able to achieve that next year what do you love about makeup? I love how it enhances your natural beauty or it like ramps it up, you know? Like you could just really transform with makeup and you can be as creative as you wanna be. You can, you know, just look like you have nothing on or you can just like look like you're another species. It's, it's just absolutely incredible. And especially when it comes to like makeup artistry in terms of like the extreme level of it, I'm just really fascinated by the possibilities. And it's so much more than just being pretty or, you know, looking glamorous or whatever. It's really, it's just, it's fun and creative. And I've always been a creative. So it was just, I feel like it was just natural for me to get into this. 
how creative can I get with this? What is that? like tips and tricks? And I want to learn this and I want to do that. And then before I knew it, it just became a passion. So that's what it is for me. It's fun. It's fun. And, and as an artist, for me, it's just another way to express myself. And I hope that for most people, it is fun. You know, like it doesn't feel like something you have to do. I hope that for most people, it's really something that you just love and want to do because it's fun and because you enjoy it and it makes you feel good. And yeah, that's it. So thanks you guys so much for watching my 30 makeup questions tag. And thank you to Mo Makeup Mo Beauty for tagging me in her video, which you guys can check out in the description box below. Also, I'm going to nominate some people, so check in the description box to see if you are nominated. <laughs> and uh, the nominations will come from some of the groups that I am already in, some of the beauty groups. So definitely keep an eye out, you guys. And for anybody who is watching who hasn't subscribed yet, there's a button down there somewhere and you can, like, it just takes a second. All you gotta do is boop and then, you, and then it's like, hey. So, so I'm gonna check out all her videos as soon as they come in. I don't even have to think about it. I don't even have to remember her name. Can't pronounce it anyway. It's Vicky J by the way. And <laughs> for anybody else, thank, like just all y'all, thank you for watching. Thanks for being here. Thanks for putting up with me. <laughs> and I will see you guys next time. Mwah. Bye.